Well, hello guys. I guess you all heard the news, and if you haven't, Chevy General Motors finally confirmed it. The Camaro as we know it is going to come to an end in 2024. The talks have been going on for quite some time. We've all heard it, this, that, and the other, but we never got a confirmation from General Motors. Now you have it. The Camaro that we've known for over 50-some years is now going to be put to a final resting place. So the gas-powered two-seater muscle car, sports car that we've known for over this long period of time is coming to a close. General Motors, as I've stated in a video before about, about GM, they can't afford to put two sport cars out there slash muscle cars. They went all out, put the eggs in one basket to give us the mid-engine Corvette. Now you got that. It's in mass production. But they can't carry two sport car slash muscle cars. You know, it's just not in the works. They're not able to sell the Camaro. You know, uh, General Motors has put out the information that their sales of the Camaro are in third and sliding compared to the Mustang. Like I said before, that Mustang is kicking this, you know what. But they'll, the Dodge productions of the Challenger and the Charger with those Hellcat motors, you know, everything that goes along with Dodge and Mopar, Mopar eating it up. Ford's holding on with that Mustang. And Mopar can't devour that Mustang like they would like to, but they have devoured the, Cor the Camaro. They can't devour the Corvette yet because a lot of people, Chevy lovers, General Motor lovers, were begging for that car, and they finally got it. But they have killed off the Camaro. So the Camaro can't hang with the sales of Mustang and Dodge products. Okay, we understand that. But whose fault is it when you really think about it? Whose fault is it that the Camaro has slid off into a pit of oblivion? Because remember, they... Back, what was it, in the early 2000s? They killed off the Camaro before? You know, because of sales and this, that, and the other? Yeah, and now he right back. They brought it back. Had a huge following. People were buying a Camaro. You know, and I was really impressed with the Camaro styling. You know, I so, said, oh, look at that. You know, like a lot of other people. But whose fault is it at General Motors that the car has not succeeded like the Mustang or the Dodge products, either the Charger or the Challenger. Who's in that company are sitting up on high that should be fired for that? You know, you had control. Why didn't you do more? And not only a thousand horsepower, but no telling what type of high speeds you could get with a thousand horsepower four door car. You could have the all the family in the car, yet you can't give up the uh, sport car, muscle car sedan that you would love to be able to drive. Hey, even take it to the track and have some fun. You know, take it down a quarter mile or in the eighth. You know, and have some fun. And you, you know, as long as you got the battery life, you can do what you want. You know, and I think, just like a lot of other people are seeing this, that's the route Chevy is going to go with the Camaro. They're going to kill off the gas combustion uh, and um, go straight to electric with the Camaro. I can see that. Reinventing the Camaro, but isn't that a little bit of a taboo? You go from gas combustion, uh, combustion uh, like we've been used to for over 50 years to go to electric with the Camaro, but look what they did with the Mustang, and guess what those Mustangs are selling? The Mach-E, the four-door, and it's electric. Those are selling. Don't let nobody else tell you anything else. Those are selling. Because if they weren't selling, four would have been bankrupt on them, you know. Not bankrupt, but they would have hit, got hit hard. Those cars are selling, okay? Ford is the only one with a Mustang name on a, a four-door electric vehicle. Dodge don't have them yet, you know. And they're going to try to bring the Angel, the Dodge Angel, what, 2024, 2025, 26? You know, that's way in the future. Right now, they don't have it. Ford the only one that got it. And Ford's selling them. Chevy sees that and sees the need to make a change from gas to electric and keep the Camaro into a 
four-door vehicle that could sell because the Camaro name will sell because it's still Camaro. They may not have to go back to Chevelle, but if they have to go to a four-door sedan slash sports slash muscle, then what about the Chevelle title coming back? That was always a bigger muscle car. They may even bring back the Malibu. You never know. But if I saw the future, if I could see into the future and be able to tell people, well, get ready to put your money into the Chevelle nameplate going on a four-door sports car for a slash muscle car for Chevy because they about to sell those things and they about to make money with them. I'd be telling everybody left and right because the Chevelle's name was pretty big. And I mean, what's all tied up into a name, but the history, you know, the history. And that history having a car that was a good seller, a great seller, but it showed the American muscle. The Chevelle was all about muscle, baby. It was a big car, but it was about muscle, and it could be ferocious muscle because you could put a 454 high output motor in that thing, and that thing would just roar and fly. You wouldn't want to get in front of it. <laughs> you surely wasn't going to want to stand on the side of it when it took off, but be in the back of that thing to hear it roar, oh, my God. Just like some of the Camaros. Now, you know, with this Camaro, you think thinking not just for the United States, but worldwide sales, you know, with electric cars. And you still, and depending on the styling and how much horsepower they want to allow that car to have with the torque from the electric motors, Chevy could bounce back huge in future terms with that car. And knowing how General Motors are, they always like building a car and having another car just like it in another car division. So could you see Chevy with a Camaro four-door and see uh, Buick bring it back like the uh, Grand Sport, you know, like they used to have, you know? Um, or could you see Cadillac coming out with another sports car, you know? Because that's all you got is sport, uh, uh, Chevy, Buick, and uh, Cadillac. Could you see that? Say like the Grand National. Say Buick brings out a four-door Grand National, you know. You don't have to worry about it being turbocharged because it's electric. And say if instead of a 1,000 horsepower, what if they give you the full enchilada and give you uh, 1,500 or 1,200 to 1,500? Huh? Can you imagine that? I can. And I can also imagine Chevy trying to take back of what they lost. You know, I said it before, General Motors, yeah, they're hurting. They got big pockets. But in order for them to get deep pockets, they got to press the issue. And they're going to have to make big changes for the betterment of General Motors and for the betterment of their fans, people who love their cars. And there's still a lot of people out there who love General Motor cars, let's face it, and their trucks. You know, GM, it won't go anywhere unless GM cuts its own throat again, you know. But if GM wants to survive, they got to step up. And the EV revolution is the only way they're going to be able to survive. All right, guys. Hey, I'll catch you again. You all have a wonderful day. Please take care. And if you, if for the new ones who come across this video, if you like it, subscribe. Let's share our thoughts with one another in the comments. And you all have a wonderful day. I'll say it again. A wonderful day. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.